What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another cube draft here on Magic the Gathering Online. Today, we're doing uh, a MeTAC simulation by uh, Meet AK, maybe, by Rob. Uh, pick anything, but you have to make it Christmas related, like picking a Frost Titan and referring to him as Frosty. You could draft Nikki B and call him Santa um, for Saint Nick. And uh, it's, it's called Santa the whole time, etc. As long as you can justify the pick, you can pretty much pick anything. So that's pretty nice. I like the the flexibility here. It leaves us open to uh, to some 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 pretty much uh, we can we can we can make justification. The Library of Alexandria is library Christmassy. Hmm, that's the question. Library gives us gifts, huh? All right, so. I like bribery because it's kind of present related. I don't think Lotus Petal and Quill Engine, Thousand Year Storm, Emiria Angel, maybe. Uh, yeah, bribery is gifts. Like bribery is pretty much gift related, which I'm, which is what I'm leaning towards. Um. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Ugin, the spirit dragon, uh, kind of like the spirit of Christmas. Stoneforge Mystic does give you gifts. Huntmaster of the Fell looks kind of hmm, uh, lumberjacky. I don't think that does anything. Rakdos' Return, I don't think so. Living Death, no. <laughs> Spell Pierce, no. Acidic Slime, no. I think I'm leaning towards Ugin because it has Spirit. Spirit of Christmas Dragon, I like it. I like it, we did it. Yeah, we're taking Ugin. Nice. All right, Bitter Blossom, Char, Mind's Desire, Ophiomancer, Restoration. Probably Restoration Angel. Uh, angels are often topping the trees. Hmm? Chandra Flame Color, no. Vendillion Click, mm, not really. Fairies and Elves, not super similar. Windswept Heath. Lands are going to be hard to justify, but hopefully we can sneak a few in here. Um, Mind's Desire. Um, it's what you want for Chris. I guess that's true. Yeah, I think we're going to just go Restoration Angel. Manglehorn is kind of like a reindeer. It's kind of like a... It's not, I don't think. Oh, this could be a star. I like that. Oh, I like this. That's super Chris. Yeah, look at that star. Yeah, I'm going to take this, actually. Angel of Invention, hmm. Beast Within, Trinket Mage. Trinket Mage could be the pick here. Dig Through Time, Damnation, Knight of the Reliquary, Mana Flare, Maze of Ith, Regrowth, Pyretic Ritual, Garrick Apex Predator. Eh, I don't really feel like... Hmm... Nothing says Christmas like Damnation. I feel like it's Trinket Mage. Shouldn't you only be allowed to pick Christmas? Oh, okay, so if we're actually having to pick red and only red and green cards, while also justifying every red and green card as a Christmas card, I feel like it's pretty bad. So I think the answer is no, specifically because because the stipulation says pick anything. You just have to make it Christmas related. I think you guys want to make stipulations far too complex, and then like have the deck actually unplayable. I think Trinket Mage is probably the best because it's it's kind of reminiscent of an elf like tinkering with. Uh, how about Gifts Ungiven? I mean, I feel like Gifts is probably the most. Um... Yavimaya Elder. This guy looks. This guy has a very Santa Claus like look. I uh, don't think Wrath of God's gonna do it. Eh, it doesn't feel very Christmassy. I'll be honest with you. A Smuggler's Copter is kind of like a sleigh, right? I think that's I think it's I think we can make justifications for gifts, elder, or smuggler's copter, but I think it's probably this is probably the most Christmas related. <sighs> Banishing light? Hmm. Hmm. If I ever do stuff, I'd like to keep a path of victory for Frank's sake. I appreciate that. That's Thank you so much. Because if you're literally just like, draft this deck, it'll be completely unplayable and your games will be miserable to watch and play. But make sure you do it to a T. I'd just be like, oh, 
I'll probably pass. No thanks. Alesh Norn? Hmm, don't think so, but maybe? I don't think it's Garrick. I don't think this pack has anything that I'm really like, s like s sold on. Soulfire Grandmaster. No, Sun Titan. Oh, this is actually yeah. This this red cape is actually pretty. Uh, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with the Christmas cape there. Sun Titan uh, brings back all our presents. I mean, like. Yeah, but it's not. That's not externally Christmas. That's internally Christmas. I want to be externally Christmas. Like I want this to relate to things in the real world, not within the game. It's not like a, I don't want an in-game Santa Claus. Um, uh, mystical two. Now, but then like in this in this pack, there's like nothing really else to take, which is really kind of awkward. Pilgrim. That's. I mean, it's 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 Christmas, not Thanksgiving. Oh, a Baneslayer Angel. Okay, that's probably it. I don't think Explosion Expansion is it. It's sort of War and Peace. Um, uh, maybe. Probably the Angel. Port, Temple Garden, Terminus. Yeah, we're going to go with the Angel here. Mm, another Angel. Yeah, I could see just taking Angels when there's nothing else because I think it's going to be probably uh, more on point than anything else. Living Death? Nope. Goblin Guide? Nope. Okay. Okay, Mouse is actually unusable at this point. That's pretty awesome. I'm having a good time. Yep, this is great. Probably just going to take Huntmaster because he has a, a woodsy look. Sorry if that was loud, guys. Um, none of these cards have Manglehorn. Like we said, is actually kind of uh, kind of reindeer-like, I guess. Balance. I don't think Santa has any any kind of concept of balance. I don't think Mana Flare, Knight of the Reliquary, Beast Within, maybe Knight of the Reliquary, maybe Balance. Oh, Silent Knight was good. I wish we took the Silent Knight now. Dang it. You have my Elder. Yep, that's just Santa Claus on his day off. That seems good. All right, Garrick, we'll, we'll, we'll do, a, we'll do a, a Krampus. Krampus? Is that what his name is? I forgot his... Is that what it's called? Krampus? 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 You know what? Forget it. Nothing says camping like flipping into a werewolf. <laughs> All right, well... Dak Faden, Gideon Jura, Gideon of the Trials, True Name Nemesis. This pack is good. Land Tax, Winter Orb. That is very Christmassy. Please have something else, though. Uh, Manic Vandal, True Name Nemesis. It's possible to connect most of these cards with Christmas. The stiff is a flaw. Please just pick it. Wow, you're... Guy in the chat, you are uh, you are epitomizing the guy in the chat. Congratulations, Gaia's cradle. Yeah, um, huh? I actually like cradle. I mean, I think that's actually a justifiable pick here, especially with like a mirror angel. I mean, like as far as like, um, being a pick for for Christmas, Sylvan Library. I don't think so. Oh, I don't think so, Sylvan Library. I don't think we're making any Gideon uh, connections here. Linvala? Demon Lord Belzenlock. I don't think you're making the cut. Tooth and Nail? Meh. Yeah, I think Orb would be the most Christmassy, but I mean, look, we're not going to play it in our deck. So, you know, if we're not going to play it, is this guy? I don't think this pack, this pack is pretty bad. Thing in the Ice. Yeah, I can see Thing in the Ice being like a... B 
being a wintry pick. Keeper Linval again, another angel. You can probably justify an angel pick by saying, "Yeah, we already did. Well, we did that. That's literally how we got Miri and Baneslayer because I think they're both both accurate." Um, Ojitai. Ojitai is in like an icy landscape. That's kind of Christmassy. I could see taking that. I think it beats out Assassin's Trophy, Ulamog. Tezzeret. Mesmeric Fiend, Probe, Elf, Walking Ballista, Blade Splicer. I think Ojitai might just... I, I I think Hunger... The Ceaseless Hunger is probably accurate. And Dragon Lord Ojitai is probably accurate. Arbor Elf we could actually... Arbor Elf is also, also an Elf. That is actually a good point. Yeah, we'll take the Elf. I can see that. I don't know how many Forests we're going to have, though. Like, Actually, Nissa is probably the better Elf, then. I'm going to take the Nissa. Um, Brimaz King. Meh, kings are good. King has a very Christmassy relationship. Gush, no. Chalice. Da, da, da. Yeah, we'll take the Brimaz. Channel the good spirits of Christmas. Oh, you're selling me here. The thing is, like, nothing in this pack is actually Relic of Progenitus, Blink of an Eye, Wall of Omens, Doretti, Gristlebrand, Chrome Mox, Nykthos, Shrine of Nyx, Field of Ruin, Turnabout, Vampire Nighthawk. Like, there's nothing in this pack. So I'm actually going to take the channel here. And it's a green card, so I think green cards are uh, kind of tangentially connected to the stipulation somehow. Iona Shield of Emeria and Lyra Dawnbringer. So those are both angels. Elspeth Knight Arant. Uh Thrag Tusk is kind of like a reindeer actually. Oh, I like I like I like artifacts being like kind of like ornaments. That's nice. I don't think Crucible is an ornament though. Like a Crucible is not, whereas like a Mox is. It's kind of like a piece of jewelry. I do like this as a sort of of a sort of reindeer. We could also just take the Lyra. I think the Lyra might be better, especially because we have other angels, two other angels, but we can go through Agtusk here. Elvish Mystic. That is an elf. Academy, no. Vindicate, no. Spectral Procession. Procession's good. I think we can probably just go with the elf here. I would love to have Trinket Mage get something, but we are not there yet. Uh, that is, well, we could say Old Saint Nick here. However, I think we're going to go with Condemn, which is what you do to people when they're naughty and not nice. You condemn them. Maybe. It's not Primal Hunter. Like we're not going to be playing Nicol Bolas, unfortunately. I'm gonna take. We'll take the winner over this time, even though Gideon Jura would be great for our deck. Gideon of the Trials, mm, not really. Land tax. Yeah, it's got to be winner orb. Yeah, Linvala actually was uh, tempted to take Linvala earlier. I um time to take oblivion ring because you can ring in the new year. Eh, ring in, ring in things. Jingle bells, ring, ring. Yeah, we'll take. We'll go with Linval. I feel like Linval is a stronger. Oh, our Ralph came back. Okay. Oh, uh, we definitely need some fixing. It's not, not particularly close. Uh, we do have a mass worm, so we'll take that guy. Someone mentioned that earlier, and I was like, I like that. Field of ruin. Yeah, it's fine. We might just be green-white. Oh, wow, the Linvala came back? That's great for us. 
Especially because we are the 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 liver rather, because especially because we have. All right, maybe we're not blue here. Oh, nothing good here. All right, so flicker wisp, survival of the fittest. That's that's something right there. I don't think survival is great though. Like, I mean, survival doesn't do anything for us. Finx, I do think Finx is probably the closest because it has like dinner connotations, like big meal connotations. Uh, temptation could also be good, but I, you know, this is also a saint. We could also just play this guy, keep the blue in. We don't have any fixing. You're right. I'm just going to kitchen Finx here. I think I like the meal, the meal aspect there. Woodfall Primus? Hmm. Timely Reinforcements? No. Mind Slaver? No. Sort of Feast and Famine? No, not really. Leviathan? Gonti, Lord of Luxury? Maybe? Yeah, I was literally thinking Primus is Krampus. Like, I was like, that's exactly where my thoughts were. I was like, this is basically just Krampus. And he's in the woods. Like, there's some Christmas trees on here. I can see that. I can get behind it. Hmm. Yeah, all right, I'm down. The only other thing I can think would be like Gaunty Lord of Luxury, but I think that's even a kind of a stretch. Sunning Titan, Daler's Necromancy, Hero of Bladehold, Elspeth's Son's Champion, Jace, Architect of Thought, Bloodcrest, Concealed Courtyard, Defiance, Coach of Portal. None of these cards have a real Christmas feel to them. If I was picking for the deck, I'd probably pick one of these two. I don't think Heartbeat's really... Elspeth did uh, kill what? Heliod? Uh... I can see Elf Elspeth being a savior in magic, in magic lore. That seems good. Guardian, no. Swords to plowshares. Colony is fixing, but like we're not going to play blue for like bribery, gifts, trinket mage, and thing in the ice. We can just as easily not play blue. Sylvan carry added is basically a Christmas tree, which I'm pretty much pretty much okay with. Yep, definitely going with carry added here. Oh, this is definitely Krampus, right? Yeah, that guy seems great. So we can cut Thing, cut Trinket Mage, cut Gifts, cut Bribery. It's got to be Primeval Titan, right? This is like the spirit. He like Not only is he in the forest knocking down some Christmas trees, he's also like the the best, the biggest Krampus ever. Avacyn's an angel. Priest is a priest. You can get religious... Uh, connotations from that guy. I personally like the Vivian Reed as the pick in the pack, but I don't think there's any real uh, Christmas connotations there. So I think it's either... Oh, Misha's Workshop would, would be decent. Edric is an elf, but I think we can... We have a lot of angels already. We have Channel, but only, only Ugin to really take advantage of it. It's probably just priest. We got because we can go priest here. I don't know if we'll play spectral procession. Stirring wildwood. Not a creature was stirring. Not even a wildwood. Mm-hmm. Seems good. Also, it is a tree, so got that Christmas tree on there. And that was pretty good. Figure of destiny. Infernal titan. Corpse dance and figure. No. Hissing quagmire. Excavator and bloodbraid elf. No. Hex mage. No. I'm just gonna go with the angel. I think the angel is a safe pick here. Flicker Wisp? Flicker Lights Flicker. Christmas Lights Flicker. I can see that. 
Yawgmoth's Bargain. Eh. Contempt? No. Gorge? No. Abbot? Maybe because it's an Abbot. That's not really, though. Obstinate Baloth. I don't think that's where we want to be. I think we can go with Flicker because I it, it just pops out to me as like Flickering of Christmas Lights. We also have a couple good creatures that are flickerable. Grim Lava Mancer, no. Leviathan, no. Palancron, no. Timely Reinforcements, no. Predator, no. Imp, no. Imp, maybe? I have no idea. I think none of these... With none of these, I'm just going to pick the Timely. Uh, this is an Angel, which is probably the most justifica justifi justificatio yeah we're done I'm gonna just take angel and put it in the sideboard uh, Magus of the Moon Thalia Tasker the Golden Fang or Una's Prowler hmm Greetings from Australia all the blood is rushing to my brain <laughs> it's okay oh man Justified is a great show uh, none of those. Oh, well, I'm just going to take the Razor Verge Thicket here. I don't think Revelark or Zergo have any particular uh, Christmassy connotations like the Edric, because you are. Eh, Ravages of War. All right, well, that's not Christmassy at all. I don't think this deck actually turned out terrible. And I think Green White is actually pretty easily justified for Chris's a lot of things. Do we even want channel? Like, all we can do is channel Ugin, really. We don't actually have any Eldrazi. This is a weird situation where, like, I almost don't want channel in our deck. Flickermas, Vermez, Banisher Priest, I will take out for now. Balance doesn't seem that great. Sun Titan does seem pretty okay here. Samamurai, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Hey, did you get that civilization donation for Gotham's? I did. I actually did it, I think, yesterday. I mean, if you're turn four channeling into an Elspeth, you're basically, it's basically just a dark ritual, just a two mana dark ritual. I mean, in the rare situations we get to go turn two, we can also be turn four Aleshnorn or Primeval Titan or Woodfall Primus. No, it can't. It's got to be turn five at the earliest because you need green, 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 green. Flickerwurst is unexciting. Interesting. We get the Flickerwurst Manglehorn, Nissa to get another land, Reset Kitchen Finks, um, Blink Thrag Tusk, Blink Plimeval Titan, Blink Sun Titan, Blink Woodfall Primus, Blink Angel of Sanctions. Flickerwisp seems. What more do you want from Flickerwisp? Saber, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Like, sadly, I just don't think channel's great here. And... Uh, I don't want to take out a signet in a in a in a deck with a bunch of five and six and seven drops. 
and I, nor do I want to take out Yav my elder for the same reason. Like I'm definitely not cutting two ramp cards in order to, when I have four five drops, three six drops, a seven drop, and two eight drops. That's never happening. Um, I could just play forty one here, which I don't hate. Hey. CX in the chat, guys. CX in the chat. I like I like like this. We're just gonna play these. So seven seven. Deal. Uh, I don't love main deck balance because it's we're mostly probably gonna be. I mean, this is a deck that's gonna likely want to have more lands and more creatures. I, I don't agree with that Amir Angel take. I mean, we have Primeval Titan. And we can put multiple lands into play from that. Amir Angel is also 4-4 four, four with Lyra. Like, I, I don't think that's true. Like, if you have a fetch land in your deck, she doesn't just jump will automatically become better because you get two birds. Um. Wow, 7 drop, 6 drop, 6 drop, 4 drop. However, we do have 3 lands. I'm going to mulligan this hand. I think we can do better. I'm going to keep this because if we hit any green, which we did. Like, I think the important thing for Amiri is that you make a consistent stream of lands. I kind of like being able... I kind of just like playing Elvish Mystic here because it does let us play Elder next turn, whereas Signet does not. Like they're both ramping us one. I mean, it's a, it's this is ch this is cheaper, but it doesn't actually ramp us into anything. So, plus we want to get the elder out so we can actually hit these land drops. I believe. Wow, swamp and an island into a signet. Oh, that was actually a great hit. Because next time we can go one two signet. If we hit a land, we can go one two signet and then play elder as well. So. That's a dude. Ha ha. Well then. So we can go one, two, signet. Guess we can just go like this and play Elder. Oh, we actually could have played Lyra or Angel. Oh, dang it. I forgot about the second white. I was like, oh, we have a second white here. Oh, do we use one of the white, though, for this? I think we did. Eh, it doesn't matter. This is still a fine turn. Fascinating. All right. That's actually just fine when we have Angel and Lyra in hand. I'm okay with that. Yeah, we're definitely cracking this guy to hit two lands. And we're just going to get double planes because we have a actually two. Yeah, it's fine. Two planes is fine. Draw a card. Third land. Primeval Titan, eh? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. 
kind of just want to get rid of Mentor. We know they're going to draw top. Uh, when did I get my ears done? Back in 2000. <laughs> 18 years ago. And these are double zeros. If there's some kind of gift incoming, what would be the best email address to send to Frank? Frank at franklapore.com. Play this guy. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. We could play Primeval Titan, then we have two extra mana. I don't think that's great. I kind of like just getting rid of this guy for now. Your butt is double zero. Hmm. Touche. So now they get to play top, they don't get the benefit of the mentor trigger unless they get rid of our angel first, which they did not. see through anything not really I guess these are just holes in my human frame oh wow oh wow that's a real good let's attack first it's possible we have 12 mana this turn I don't think so let's say this let's presume this makes three one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are shy. It actually makes four with Anissa. So we are literally one shy, right? We go one, two, three, four, five, six. We make Sun Titan. This will make three, four, five. Oh, we're so close. Actually, oh, we don't have the. Oh, I never put four, so we oh, missed that. Oh, oh, man. We could have probably could have played. Oh, uh, no, we can play. We can play Primeval Titan and Lyra, right? No, we can't because we need the creature from the Sun Titan. Yep, we messed up by not playing the planes here, I think. That's going to be a big deal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go Sun Titan. Even if they have Mana Leak here, we can stop it. Let's get a Nissa back. Let's get another land. We did play a land, right? Yeah, all right. Dang it. See, because now if we played a white, or we could have used uh, elf instead of white, then we have white, white, and then four for Lyra. So we can't actually, we have five mana right now. We have four and then then one. But, oh, biscuits. Actually, would that have worked? I don't think so, because four of the mana is in the cradle. So there's actually no way we could have kept up double white. Yeah, okay, I think we're fine. No, we couldn't have done it with four white. Because we'd have to reserve two of the white. Like, let's say one of these is also a planes, right? We'd have to reserve two of these. So we'd have to use one, two, three, four, five. We wouldn't have six mana uh, until we actually tap this. We, we couldn't have actually done it. So I feel better about that now. I mean, you have my Elder is also good. I wanted to be able to make sure... Like, if the Sun Titan doesn't survive, I think it's a bigger threat than Nyssa. So if the Sun Titan doesn't survive, I don't want to have to... I want to be able to get Nyssa flipped next turn with our 7th land, so... Yeah, that guy's fine. So now, we should definitely have enough mana to do all the things we want to do. So we, we, can, we can, this is four. Yeah, by itself, this almost, uh, um, we're going to have five one way or the other, right? So we can actually tap this for four. Yeah, it's actually fine. We'll flip first and see what happens. Let's reveal another Lando. One, two, three, four, five. Six. 
Primeval Titan. Oh, uh, let's get a Razor Verge Thicket and a Stirring Wildwood. Definitely attacking with both these guys. And if you want to chump block with like the three zombies and something else, that's totally fine. That's even that's even better. We have a lot of mana right now. Okay, we got the three wise men. We got the Grave Titan, the Primeval Titan, and the Sun Titan. Yeah, I was worried they'd block with, like, Choop, Zombie, Zombie, which seems like a significantly better block for us. Or for them, rather. This one seemed much better for us. I'll trade a Grave for a Sun Titan. It already got me a Nissa and a Yavimaya Elder back. Got a jet, but I'll continue my support by subbing, but because of scheduling, only really consuming YouTube. You know, Burley, Beach, Beckons, Tempid Fan Out. Sam Amara, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Have a good, have a good afternoon, buddy. Like you do. What do you guys think of the Daredevil series? Are you referring to the Netflix one? Uh, it's fantastic. Oh, Oju Tizzle. Sure. So we can actually trade with Angel here. Which is pretty much fine. They kind of have to trade almost. Something not a land. Wow, that's an amazing land considering we have Yavimai Elder. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. I kind of just want to draw a card with Yavimai Elder. And uh, maximize our chances of... Of drawing like a Leshnorn here. So we have two basics in our deck. Two lands in our deck, probably. A Leshnorn. Linvala. So I think we're just getting the last two lands out of our deck now. Wow, no lands in our deck. Just mono gas all the way down, guys. Yep, figure that's what you'd do. Did you just take nine, go to two? You gotta block with this Ojitai, right? Yep, that is fine. All right, so uh, one, two, three, four, five. We'll go Bane Slayer. Does this cost seven or six? Oh, that's pretty good. So we got one, two, three, four. And Vala. And then was this four, five? So we're one shy. I think that's fine. So they're just drawing top here, right? You got it. So one of your draws is you have Mox and Top in hand? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, they didn't have a red source, so I guess we're hoping that you don't have a red source. Or you didn't need that red source, but I can't imagine what you're going to do with one red here, so. Yep. Top it up, top, top it up. Okay. 
Oh, next is a fate. Well, that's fine. We're at 33, and all of our angels have lifelink, and they have no cards in hand. So the top card of the library is... Oh, it's shuffled in, so they don't actually have top anymore, so it's literally just, like, random draw off the top of your deck. Well, I'm game. Let's go to game two. Feel good about our odds here, guys. And we did it. I just got a message from someone that I have to respond to. Um, yeah, what can we do here? Do we care about anything? Not really. I think our deck is fine like this. We could bring in Field of Ruin because they have... I kind of like Field of Ruin here. I think we have enough basics and stuff. Uh, I like Field of Ruin because they have Celestial Colonnades, so... Shut up and take my money! Oh, okay. If you could choose three vintage cube creatures that encompassed all that is Frankel Poor, which three would they be? CX in the chat. Um, <laughs> this is a good meme now. Um, uh, Leovold would be one. Um, Emrakul would be two, because I like being able to go either channel or through the breaching Emrakul. Three creatures that encompassed all that is me in the cube this hand is snap keeper except for the white sources but we do have one in a sylvan carry added so that's all good that's all good um so yeah we're gonna go one is gonna be leovold S two is going to oh consecrated sphinx 100 percent. it's i think it's i think it would say emrakul leovold consecrated sphinx those would be the three that's pretty sick those are those are i think those are solid ones I don't know if prime time is really encompassing me, though. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. We can almost actually Ugin next turn. If we can draw a creature that we can play next turn, I think we can Ugin. That's pretty cool. Scarab God's cool too, actually. However, I think I think I want to have some kind of Eldrazi Titan in the list of three, so it would definitely be Consecrated Sphinx for like the blue control decks that I think it's at the it's like the pinnacle of those decks and Leovold because it just encompasses. So was this one, two, three, four, five, six mana? It's unfortunate. Fascinating. All right, all these double red creatures are really uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next turn, we just get to go Ugin if we hit another land. Seems okay. No pros of playing Cradle here. I don't know what that means. I mean, it literally it gives us two mana instead of one. I don't know. Remember the time we took one planes out to get our, uh... Oh, that is a thing. One, two, three, four, five... Thragums. That seems good. Field of Ruin would actually be fine, because we can hit their swamp and also get, uh... Oh, they have no cards in hand. Oh, this is great. This is actually great. Great. 
I agree with Fashino Panic. You should have played some planes in the deck. Listen, guys. Listen, guys. How many Pro Tour top eights do you have? I'll play. I'll play however many planes I want in this deck. We're looking at some number between zero and one. Jk. All right. We can do this. What do we got? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. We have eight mana. So we got Eugene, and they have one card in hand. So they can bounce this and replay it, probably. I have one Pro Tour participation in not making day two, but at least I beat you. That's actually... That's not nothing. Never, never discount that. That is a huge accomplishment. It is not... <laughs> Oh, sweet top deck. Planes? Nope. I think we basically lose to a random day of judgment that they top decked with, with zero cards in hand. Cool. Shut up and take <coughs> money. Cool. What three creatures in the HQ fully encompass all that is Mike? Six in the chat. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's a good question. All that encompass Mike. Oh, God. That's a good question. Cool, another, another forest. I'm having a good time, having a good time. <laughs> Sleep in the cube? Is Norin the wary in the cube? Is, uh... Are there any creatures with lazy in the title? <laughs> God, I love Mike to death, but boy, his life choices. They only have one black, so it's not... What is this? What are you doing right now? You Marshall cooing? Shut up and take my money. What is? I lied. The beach is beautiful, but I can get roasted by the hole in the ozone eye later because it's only 9:15 a.m. Stiff drop me some more jank counters, please. I want to be here to get them. All right. <laughs> Actually, what just happened? Oh, they sphinxed and then they played. Sure. I think we're dead here. All right, Sam. Sam, Sam I'll do that one next if you're okay with that. Man, you guys are ridiculous. But these tips have actually been pretty great. You guys have been uh, keeping me occupied. For sure. Day of Judgment into Sphinx's Revelation into Dragon Lord Ojitai. It's almost perfect. Come on, Wooded Bastion. Well, Plains is close. Double, 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 double. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that ain't going to do it. I'm just going to go to the next game here. I don't feel good about racing these guys when they have... Uh, they're going to draw and go to six. They attack first, go to seven, and then they can still play live. They can still activate library. So that's... Yep, and then we're just going to draw Bermez. Okay, I'm going to take a forest out. Instead of a planes this time and we're gonna hope that makes a difference i wish i had more things in the sideboard that would let me get rid of uh artifacts but i'm glad we took this mangle horn when we did <gasps> oh excuse me i like it i like mangle horn a lot here actually especially with flicker wisp in the deck that seems good So now we got Krampus and we got Krampus's rain Krampus and Krampus's reindeer here, so that's good. Oh, <laughs> speak of the devil. Speak of the literal devil. Uh Professor Knox, it's gonna be up until January 19th, I think. So quite a quite a time. Fascinating. Shut up and take my money. Hmm. What three non-Power 9 cards do you want to pack one, pick one in the Vintage Cube? Also, you're officially invited to join the Purple Army. CX in the chat, boys. <laughs> I don't even know what that second one means, but... Three non-Power cards? Uh, I love opening... Or do we... Is Soul Ring Power? I, I would consider Soul Ring Power, so I wouldn't say that, but it would be up at the top of my, my non-Power list. But um, otherwise, I would say... 
I can't do anything here because I'm definitely not playing this or this here. Um, Consecrated Sphinx is definitely one of my favorite opens. Mana Drain. I don't think Mana Drain would be considered power, but I do love opening a Mana Drain. Oh, this is actually great because now we can go one, two, three. Manglehorn, you, you dude. Uh, I would consider library power as well. There's a bunch of secondary secondary power cards like Soul Ring, Library, Mana Drain, probably. One, two, three, four, five, six. So next turn we can go Primeval Titan. Then we can keep Sun Titan for when they wipe the board. And then we can get back Manglehorn or Signet or all three. Anguished Unmaking. It's fascinating. Oh, actually, we're just going to Flicker Wisp here instead and kill our mocks. Uh, let's do it. Post combat. -oo. Mind Twist is pretty strong. Uh, Rafelis is also a card I love opening because if it sticks, you're just so far ahead. It's round one or two. It's round one. Dang. It's going to take forever. Oh, yeah, I'll use that ability, sure. Nah, I mean, Mind Twist is weird because it's a terrible top deck in the late game if they have no cards. But even if they have, like, one or two cards, you can still get those cards. And uh, it's great in the early game if you're able to ramp in any way, shape, or form, which you kind of want to do. Oh, God. How is this real life? The only thing I'm, I'm upset about losing here is the Sylvan carry added, but yeah, and of course you play a land. Fantastic. This is unbelievable. Oh, that's great. So they have four cards, we have four cards. They have used balance. Sure. You got it. Let's get another, let's get, okay. Yes, please. Let's get one of each. Draw a card. The rag bottoms. Could have also angel. no we couldn't because he's got hex proof. So we're just gonna Lyra here and see if that does it. They're gonna dismember this immediately and uh, never don't have it, I guess. That's cool, we're having a good time, guys. Everybody's having a good time. Everybody but us in this two-player match is having a good time. Having a good time. Why are we having such a good time? Well, they still only have one card, and top is pretty much garbage, so... Sure. Oh, well, can you deal with two, though? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Manglehorn Flicker Wisp doesn't really do much. We can go Sun Titan, Flicker Wisp, Sun Titan. I probably just want to get this guy off the board.
Yeah, I think it's Ojutai here. I'm not too concerned with Phyrexian here. They're going to draw top in one other card. So They're also not super high on life. So next time we can go Sun Titan, Flicker Wisp, the Sun Titan. Get another Sun Titan. This mouse is really garbage right now. It's actually incredible. I have not seen Mana Screwed. I actually don't love... I think a lot of the magic comedy shows are not that actual... Not that funny. But I don't know. No, I, haven't, I haven't seen that one, so... God. Oh, top two cards. Seems good. <laughs> That's actually pretty nuts. Four, five, six, seven. Thank you. Check. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Look, want to go see the new Spider-Man with me? I'll leave in 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm in. Let's go. I'm game. Hmm. These are decisions. I want to get rid of the Ojitai, but I don't really care if we have... Norn City. I think attack is for three. I'll take it. I'll deal with that. Like I just don't want them to have monastery mentor out and keep going. I guess it doesn't matter that much if they if we're just gonna kill it anyway. What are the odds they have more mana? Tanos, what's going on, buddy? Hope you had a merry Christmas. Long time no see, sir. Always a pleasure. I feel like we're in bad shape here. Having arena in top, like, I don't think top is great, but um, it was good. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Um, having top in play, I don't love top, but I think having it in play right now, like, definitely lets you pick with arena, no less. Like, you're drawing a card, then you get to look at the top four cards, essentially. The one you draw for the turn, and then the next three, so... Yep. Interesting they play this before play, before attacking. Where do the other cards go? Bottom any order? Sure. Ugin would be great. I'd neg five Ugin immediately in a heartbeat. We are one mana shy, though, so we should probably just get Primeval Titan out there ASAP. We could also get Sun Titan and Flicker Wisp the, the Grave Titan, and then just attack for four. Or we can play Elf and get rid of Grave Titan, which I kind of like a lot. Yeah, let's do that. So they go to four and then they go to three. Seems good. I want to get the Grave Titan off the board because we can't attack with a Leshnorn if they have Grave Titan out. And if we're going to put a uh, Flyer on the board and get rid of the Grave Titan, I'd rather it be Angel of Sanctions than just getting rid of her for one turn. All right. Well, they have three turns to win. And we do have Thrag Tusk and Bane Slayer. Like, our hand is pretty stacked. So I'm not like... I don't think we're out of it yet. They've also used Dismember, Ravenous Chupacabra, and Balance. They could have Wrath of God, which means they get their Grave Titan back. Mystic Confluence. <laughs> it's 
Jesus. Oh, it never ends. Shut up and take my money. Wow, and then they hit Aleshnorn with the Hymn to Tor. So they just Hymn to Torok and Mystic Confluence. Ten bucks away from a good time, but now January's covered, and you can save for Tanos, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are obviously uh, the hero we need. Can we just draw Ugin off the top? Just one time, dude. One time, Ugin. Oh, Tanos, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate your generosity, as always. Condemn is actually pretty good when they're at three. What can we do? Sun Titan, get back. Flicker Wisp, Flicker Wisp, Sun Titan. 69 would have worked. Yeah, this is less nice. But also more nice. Why can't you attack your four? Uh, because they're four because this guy has death touch. Because Grave Titan would kill Aleshinorn with Death Touch. That's <clears throat> so wow I can't believe they him to Torok Baneslayer and Aleshnorn seems good seems ex insanely good um Sun Titan 1, 2, 3, 4 so we have Sun Titan Flicker with Sun Titan and then get back something else let's do that this is like Remand and I'm like oh that's too bad Flicker Wisp Flicker Wisp El Titanos. Sun Titan comes back. Do -do 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 -do. Let's get Yavimai Elder, I guess. Because then we can just block a zombie. And we'll definitely have enough mana for Ugin. And we get two lands out of our deck. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, you're going you're gonna to do something else. Just topping. Okay, well, sure. Sure. Always yield to that. You're at two, so you have to win in two turns. Unless you somehow have life gain, which you probably just drew like. What would you use? You use Sphinx's Revelation. Thank you. Uh, they don't have lethal in there because we have a blocker and a condemn, right? So, am I missing something? Thomas with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, okay, sure. So they go to one here? Oh, Condemn does gain them life. That's unfortunate. Wow, Condemn into Nexus of Fate into Demonic Tutor. Sure. You know what? We're having a good time. I think our deck is great. I think the power level of Durdek is just a little, a, a little... A little higher than we'd like. How do we block this? We could trade here, which I think is totally fine, and we can get rid of the Dragonlord Ojitai. Oh, they probably just got another... They just got another Nexus of Fate, right? So we're probably dead here. if they attack with if we block here like, oh jeez but then we block here and we take six right because it's <sighs> well then they also attack with colonnade Oh god, I wish we just didn't give them like oh god, I'm just so like Can't you win on the swing back with Wisp? No, because they have a Nexus of Fate. They're taking another turn.
Okay. Well, that'll do. Yeah, I feel like that's sure. I <laughs> just never didn't have it. Oh, you got it, buddy. You got it. Cool. I mean, I think that match is actually fine. Um, I don't know. Maybe we could have gotten rid of Arena sooner, but the problem is, like, we just didn't have... I wish we had a Reclamation Sage, which is probably an elf. We could have taken that at some point, I imagine. And felt okay about it. But we didn't. And this is our... This is our curse. And also, the him hitting... Yeah, the him hitting... Uh, Eleshnorn really did a number on us. Like, them being able to amass four zombies. Like, of course they have him. They have Mystic Confluence into him, and they knock two cards out of our hand that are extremely relevant, so... Yep, this hand's actually terrible. This hand's not better, but I can't go to five here and hope it's better, so... I'll keep you on top and hope for a green source at some point in our magic life. What were the new egg issues? What were issues at New Egg? Happy birthday, Jesus. Sorry your stiff sucks so much. <laughs> it doesn't. I think this actually turned out really well. But, uh... Yeah, but the thing about spending that on a keyboard or a case is, like, usually when you buy those things for that price, um, they're going to last. You're not buying garbage. If we can get... Wow, Relic Order as just a 2-2. That's... It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Interesting. Well, this is definitely the Alesh Norn deck. Cool. Glad, glad they played this now, I guess. Any land. Any land. Preferably a forest. Into one more land so we can go Amiria Bird. Double Angels. Ugh. Oh, God. Whew. Okay. Yep, flip your duder. Counterfeit parts, fake spec, bios, flash, and sticker parts, and pirated software at the same time their prices stopped being as competitive customer servers. Really? There were counterfeit parts being sold at Newegg? Holy smokes. Oh, I'm cringing so hard. Oh my god. Are we dead here? Oh, and they played, they flipped this dude, so we take four, five, six, seven, go to six. Yeah, we're just dead here. Yep, that was not ideal. But again, this is a pretty bad. Like, I don't understand, like, we have 17, 17 lands. We have two elves, two two drops, a Nissa, a Yavamaya Elder. We really shouldn't be having these kind of mana issues. I kind of like balance here, but not really. Oh, this was in 2010? Oh, wow. This is an old one. This is an old Gizmodo article. Yikes. I mean, I kind of like balance here, but some of our guys are just... Huh. Hmm. 
A DVD or a W drive is pretty funny because I actually haven't used a DVD drive in, I haven't used an optical drive in pretty much ages. Like my, my, the computer now I'm using doesn't even have a really, a way to even have an optical drive. I will play first. <laughs> you know what? Fine. Play this guy. <clears throat> You can get external drive, sure, but my point is more that, like, I just don't even... I haven't had a use for a, a, an optical drive in years. Like, I've never burned something to a CD. I've never installed something from a CD. Like, I just haven't done that in... God. Literal years. Oh, God. Okay, Manglehorn, we need you to do some work here. We need we need a, 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 a thing to a green a green thing. That's not a green thing, Manglehorn. Manglehorn, come on, don't do this. Why is our mana do, performing so bad? Seventeen lands. Oh, I don't understand. I guess this is just variance. I don't know. What can you do? I'm cringing so hard right now. How is this real life? Having a good time. No one is having a good time. Oh, good. Another situation where we don't actually have anything in play for you to take, so. Cool. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. Three, four, five, six, seven. They have no cards in hand. <laughs> Donos, well, it happens, man. It happens. I guess we get rid of this because we already have a five drop that we'll want to play instead. Make a dude. Untap your dudes. Make another dude. Yep. Oh my god. <clears throat> How is this real, dude? We have so many cards. Like, we have so many three drops and two drops that we could be playing. Why is Gaia's Cradle the only card we're actually drawing as a green source? Meanwhile, they have Chrome Mox, Mox Pearl, Skull Clamp, and Sword of Feast and Famine that we could have Manglehorned multiple turns ago.
Well, we asked for a two drop, I guess. I don't think it has anything to do with the quality of the deck. Like, I, I don't think we lose that game if we actually hit our land drops. We have answers for literally everything. That that, that deck had no answer to a 5-5 five, five Baneslayer Angel. It had no answer to an Angel of Sanctions stealing uh, one of their anythings. We lost to our mana base that time, and not, not by any fault of the mana base itself, just by variance. Well, there we go again with the guy's cradle and no other lands. Meanwhile, I have two elves and a two drop. All right. One of those days, guys. One of those days. You know what? Sure, Cradle. I'll keep you. Keep this too, because I don't want to get stuck having uh, one white source. So. Big fan of you. So I will proceed to crush you. On actual, actual unbelievable guys cradle in all three opening hands, two of which had no other lands. I don't even. I'm the guy that usually comments on us hanging out with ganja and veggies and junk. Uh, what's your um? Hmm. That 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 could be that could be so many people. Yep. Don't worry, we'll get them next time. <laughs> that would be the goal, right? It's a it's a got them stipulation, right? Good lord, man. Okay, okay. Why did you time out? What did what did scribe what I'm saying? Thank you. <laughs> Time me out. I deserve it. Okay, that's hilarious. Oh. Huh. Well, that is a thing. Taunt us with another gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Hold on, let me update this uh, this rent goal so that I can live my live my best life here. Uh, I guess we're just playing white here. I don't think we're playing Flicker Wisp here. I'd rather I'd rather Thrag Tusk Flicker Wisp for obvious reasons. So I <laughs> love the cereal my dad ever come back. Uh it was Alexa. Jeez. Get it together. We actually have to it's, it's we actually have to play Flicker Wisp here. Because <laughs> if we don't, we can't actually cast Thrag Tusk. We're not doing that still. I can activate Wildwood to, to get a Cradle. Yeah, that's true. No joke. You guys joke, but... All right, hold on. Uh, end the goal. Seven, we're not ten bones. Uh, zero one slash thirty one slash twenty nineteen. Wow, that's a weird. Cool, did it. Okay. Well then, I just want to land. Just give me a land off the top. 
<laughs> oh yeah, again, rerun the ganja line. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. We have a good time here. Everybody's, everybody's having a good time. Some people are having a good time. That's not a good time. An island? <laughs> Please, I hope they attack. Please attack. Oh, dang it. It's like they knew. It's like they saw the line. Give me a land. I hate you. I literally hate your guts. Magic Online, you are actual scum. Like, I, again, I don't think this has any indication of the deck. I think it's just literally, we're just, we're just being, we're, we're at the mercy of variance this game, or this this draft. Your level-headedness is a big part of why I enjoy the stream. I appreciate that. Thank you for saying so. As well as the pot, the ganja talk, sure. We do what we can here. Oh, you're going to target my Stirring Wildwood, aren't you? Oh, they drew a card. Well, then. Oh, and they added two mana? Oh, no. Here comes Hellrider. Oh, that's a good one. Can I get a can I get an Ugin and just Ugin for four? That seems good. That's all I want to do. You. Tonos with another gifted sub, my dude. One, two, three. Yep. It's, it's, I can't. I just can't. Like, <laughs> instead of a land, we get an Elvish Mystic. Just stop. Come on. Just don't. Just come on. I get to kill a token, I guess. That's kind of cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Assuming all these guys die, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Assuming they live rather not die. I said I said die accidentally because that was just my natural assumption for what's gonna happen here. The funny thing is they could Chandra the Flicker Wisp and PN Kiran Alar the Elvish Mystic. Or they can actually just Ugh, God. That seems like a pretty easy hit. You just bounce the Elvish Mystic for two and draw a card. That's a good deal. Electrolyze would be gas. I haven't seen Electrolyze in this cube yet. I imagine it's here because it's very good, but... Thank you. Upgrade Brigade. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Nine months in a row. What a time to be alive. Pernal damage that we dealt to and dealt by, correct? So we can easily block here. That's nice. <sighs> All right, well. Yeah, I haven't seen Electrolyze, so that makes sense. I feel like I'm in a really bad comedy right now. Is this real? Is this real life? I don't understand. Oh, cool. I thought maybe the tip today was don't cast any spells. Oh, it is. Just unintentionally. Yep. That's... That's something right there. 
We're having a good time. <laughs> oh, God. I like it. There's nothing. Oh, my God. I can't even, like. Did I spill salt earlier at a meal? Was it, Did I eat a meal and I just spilled salt on the table? Is our opponent also O2? Because, like, you know, maybe that gives me some form of... Is this going to be like our first O3 draft? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yes. For the first time in 17 years, I will keep this hand. Mike casting rat dead spells on Frank from his room. <laughs> oh, God. Look at this hand. We can actually cast two spells. I actually don't understand. Two drop? Wow. Is this real life? Is this just fantasy? Creating a two to no escape from reality. Player. Oh, now they, they now they don't get to play playing it. Yeah, this is just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Look up to the sky and see. Let's just end it quick so that we can go to the next game and continue our streak. Look, it's 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 totally fitting that our final our final round of this draft gets uh gets treated to a Christmas miracle of being able to cast Oh god. Are you gonna throw the reach Emerkalos? I'm real cringe right now. Not the worst. Wow. You know what? Sure. Shut up and take my money. Silvercrest, let's make stuff good. Five color good stuff to find as deck must have five colors in casting cost, including post sideboard hybrid counts as two. Okay. I actually like that because we can do whatever we want. That's a nice open-ended stip. That's pretty sweet. All right, hold on. Hold on. That's That's a good one. Tonos. Okay, so they got to play an island. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we just play Elspeth here because it seems really broken. We have nothing in our graveyard thanks to the old uh, time Twisterino. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't have four spike, I guess? All right, we did it. Create a gentleman. Create open ended until you have one of some super bad card. Oh, that's fine. We'll just we'll just pick like we'll just pick the good black cards. Be like, oh, demonic tutor will be our good black card. <laughs> I mean, it is good stuff in the in the title. So, um, you know, 
I feel like we're in good shape there. I'm gleaming the cube. That's good. That's a solid reference there. I feel like we're in good shape, but it's the cube, so it's really hard to say sometimes. You're just like, oh, well, you're doing real good. Except for you'll probably be dead soon. Anywhere the wind blows doesn't even matter to me. To me. Let's say yes here. Get one of these jobbies. What's in our deck that we just literally could have looked for? Let's play... Flip you. Let's play flip you to get the third planeswalker. Let's just reveal here. Let's see what we hit. Thrag bottoms. Thrag bottoms. Um. Wolf. Soldiers. Big brims. All right. Well, they're at eight. I think we're I think we're doing good here. Hope I'm not late. Happy New Year to you in the present, Mike. Of course, <laughs> I don't think you're late. I think you're actually quite early, my friend. Quite early. Oh god, don't even mention upheaval. I'll cry. He said he wishing you a happy 2018. Ah, oh, touche. I yeah, yeah, uh, Spazio, if you're wishing me a happy 2018, I think you might be a little late. However, if you want to just roll it forward into 2019, I, I think we can let that work. Where is Mike? Mike has a job. You guys don't know that Mike has a job? Top decking you can hear would be great because, oh, oh boy, here we go. Is this going to be upheaval? Oh, Jesus, what is happening? Come on, don't, don't do me like this. Don't do me like this. This is nine mana, so you just go upheaval, replay, signet, heartbeat. Oh, and vomiting. It's going to be upheaval, isn't it? No, it's not. That's actually not terrible. I'm okay with that. Also, it's great. That's that's those are good Sun Titan targets as well. So, they said, "Whoops!" Oh my God! Oh my God! We have so much mana right now. Oh wow! <laughs> Holy, holy smokes. One, two, three. I, wow, I forgot Harpy was on the board. That's insane. Let's get a Nyssa. I think we will search for a land here. So one, two, and then we still have a million mana. We'll play you. Play the land. Yep, seems fine. Always yield. Did you notice how it was an Emrakul there? It's always an Emrakul. Or an Ulamog, rather. Uh, yeah, sure. And sure. And sure. And sure. 
Actually, you're probably worse, so I'll play you first. Because if we play you first, we can attack with you for six. Pretty sure it was definitely Ulamog. Definitely Ulamog Ceaseless Hunger. Fascinating. Oh, well, so does Stirring Wildwood, though. Wow, that's hilarious. Okay, they go, to, they go kill us. They kill everything with Ugin. <laughs> we have Stirring Wildwood out to still kill them. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, we're having a good time, aren't we? God, they have Bonfire. They have... Person Land. Nice. Nice. Yeah, they forgot to float mana with the heartbeat, so they could not play a blocker, presumably. <sighs> Thalia actually seems pretty good. I don't know what to cut for a Thalia, though. Person land, person land, sing this to the tune of Spider Man. <laughs> That's actually very good. Nick, Nick, well done, buddy. Well done, Hat Mike. I'm going to take Angel of Sanctions out, I guess. Uh, I'll keep this hand. It's slow, but their deck isn't super fast. Well, that's a good one. That's a good start. Daddy Cube, take it easy, buddy. Buddy. If we draw four drop, then we got five drop, and then we got double eight drop. This is where channel would really shine. Is he fast? Listen, bud. He's a person. Land. That wasn't very good at all. It was actually actively terrible oh a mock sapphire manglehorn one time oh and a and a mountain as well how crafty yep forest is also uh what we were looking for preach how do they beat a lyra though that's the question the old mangle dangle We're having a good time, guys. So now we can go one, two, Signet, Sim, and Zoom. One, two, three, four, five. So next time we still have six. That's okay. That was actually a decent draw. You know, for a mangle dangle, that is. Well timed.
time. Only seven mana. If we draw a land and they let our Elvish Mystic survive, we get to play things. We get to play things. We get to play things. Yeah, they took Mahamodi to Jan and they're like, alright, let, listen, hear me out. What if we took one power away? So it's a 4-6 instead of a 5-6, right? Totally fair. But whenever your opponent drew one card, you draw two cards. Balanced, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's balanced. If Consecrated Sphinx said whenever an opponent draws a card, you may draw a card as well, like, I think that's a really good. The fact that you draw two cards is like, why? I don't know. Okay. Oh god, I'm cringing so hard. I think I'm going to hurt my face with how hard I'm cringing. God, land off the top that's not stirring wildwood. That's literally all I want. That'll do. That'll do. That will do. <laughs> Oh my god. One time. Come on. Come on. They're sort of negative sixing, and then they just shoot Ugin so that the Ugin dies anyway. That's really sad. And they get to keep Thopters because they hit P and Kieran Alar. That's also really sad. Oh god. Is he thick? Listen, bud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can't actually... I want to play Flicker Wisp and then Cradle. Oh! Um, hmm. Well, attacking doesn't really do anything. It also makes our Cradle actively worse. So what do we have? We have one, two, three... One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh, we actually can do that. That's great. Right? Because one, two, three... Four, yeah, all right, we can do that. Is he strong? Listen, bud. He's got Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Don't have a counter in your hand. If you do, then we're dead. Hey there, Ugin the Spirit Dragon 6. We gain 5 life if we attack, but they can also just... Yep, that seems... That was expected. So now we get to play Lyra. I'd rather just keep a Lyra. <laughs> that seems better than gaining five. Because now we get to gain five forever. They have six cards and we have Woodfall Primus. Not ideal. One, two, three, four, five, six. We only have seven mana, so we actually do need another land, unfortunately, because... You <laughs> pulling lines today that make me... Yeah, they're tough. They're not easy to spot. But uh, they're also... They, they also rarely win us the game. Yeah, see, then they're just like, well, just cast this Riftwing Cloudscape, dear old dummy. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana. This adds nothing, so Woodfall Primus is not an option. But they didn't counter last turn, so I doubt they're going to counter this turn. All right. Well, Lyra's back. Lyra's back. All right.
bane fire for bonfire for five right because you have exactly enough one two three four five six seven eight nine you have ten mana one two three four five six seven eight nine ten One two three four five six seven. One two three four five six seven eight. One two three four five six seven eight. Listen, bud. Is he sad? He's got radioactive man. Hey there, he's got a radioactive man. Xenagos in the trash. They have six cards. We cannot last. We haven't won a single match. I didn't think this deck was trash. Oh no. We're gonna lose this match. Another hate, another crime. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Opposition was in his hand. Now it's sad. We have a thing. They tap our guys, and then they swing. Hey there, we couldn't win a match. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, Lord. Thank you guys for watching. really appreciate it. I hope you guys had fun with this as much as I did. <laughs> it's just amazing. Oh, anyway, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are all in the description below. You can check out MeUndies.com slash FrankLapore as well if you guys are looking for 15% off as long as as well as free shipping and free returns on some super sweet micromodal, uh, extremely soft underwear, onesies, lounge pants, socks, tees, anything like that. Uh, you can also check out Aaron Kane custom deck boxes. The link for that is in the description below as well. And with promo code Frank, you'll get 10% off. His stuff is very, very nice. And... Uh, Hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. I'm not going anywhere. Twitch, don't leave. YouTube, I'll see you next time.